In this video I'm gonna show you how to use Excel software to solve waiting line in Kiwing theory model. To start with, let's define the problem, the same one we did in class. So we have the car arriving at the post office at a rate of 4 every 10 minutes, so in total 20 cars per hour and the service time is 2 per minute, so it will be 30 per hour. The arrival has a Poisson distribution while the service has a negative exponential distribution. Okay, so let's see, let's use Excel in order to solve this problem. So we go to Excel first, we have to enable the add in. If you don't have this as already enabled on your Excel, so you need to go to File, Excel Option, Add in, and go. You should see here queues. If you don't see it, you just have to browse and enable this q.xla and this q.xla file will be already available on iConnect tomorrow on the university system tomorrow so you click on this one and then you get it here you highlight it and then you say ok and you should obtain the system here as it is I need to remind you Okay, so you obtain here the system as it is, so you say add queue. The first system we're going to work in is MM1, which is Poisson distribution, negative exponential server, and one server. So the cell we're going to work on is A1, and post office, and the arrival rate is 24 and the service rate is 30 per hour and number of server we only have one so let's run the program it's very easy and very straightforward let's run the program and uh, see what we get so the name we assigned I think there, won't sh there shouldn't be any space and so we have got the result as it is so we have the arrival rate 24, the service rate channel 30 per hour, and we have one server. Mean number at a station, this mean L, which is the mean number of people in the system. And this is LQ, the number of people, average number of people. And, and mean time at a station is W, which is the average waiting time, and WQ. Uh, so we have here uh, efficiency which is uh, the percentage utilization factor which is rho lambda over mu which is the same one as we did in class just 24 over 30 and uh, so 80 percent busy while uh, so probability of service idle is 20 percent this is idle percentage and busy percentage is 80 percent same as this value which is the efficiency actually Efficiency, which is the dead in class utilization, lambda over mu, is how busy the system is. And we have here probabilities that the system is full is zero. Probabilities that there's no one in the system is 20%, same as idle. The service is idle. Probabilities there's one person currently being served by the civil servant and there's no one queuing. So here, probabilities is exactly one person, zero person. And here is probability there is exactly one person in the system and two people all the way up to 10 people. Okay, so in case I change this number to 40, saying it does like 40 person per hour, and you could see all the values change dramatically and very quickly. Okay, so now we have like the percentage busy is 60 percent, percentage is 40 percent, it's gone up a little bit, percentage idle. If we reduce the number of people coming then we could change we see the value changing on the spot if we say here there are suddenly two servers like they just hire someone in the post office to work at the same time so we could see even the number are changing so I'm gonna put this one back at one and I'm gonna run another program another example so I go to add in and the queue and now so we have the E1 this is the second system now we have two people and I'm gonna consider three people in this example what we did like we have service rate of each person is 10 per hour but we have three people see servant uh, so we have three servant and we're gonna see how does it affect my system 
I'm gonna run the system and I'm gonna run the system and we we literally have we should obtain uh, like we have the system of the servant then arriving in total there's like three per 30 per hour and we obtain the result 